fellow dadpreneurs, 1,191 leads on TikTok in 31 days, all for free. In this video, I'm gonna reveal exactly how I did just that and how you can model exactly what I'm doing. Hey folks, my name is Adam Dukes and I help dads escape employment by building a wildly profitable online business so that they can enjoy more dad time. Now, I jumped on TikTok back in April of 2020 after months of pushback. A buddy of mine was skyrocketing his YouTube growth and I said, what is your secret, man? And he messaged me back uh, two words. He said, TikTok. And I said, no, no, I'm 38 years old. I'm not joining that. That's for teens to twerk to the latest Drake song. That's not for me. And he said, if you want to grow your YouTube channel, I'd get on TikTok. So that is why I joined TikTok a little over a year ago. And it's not a place just for the teens to twerk to the latest Drake song. It is a place to get a ton of attention, awareness, and drive a significant amount of traffic to a website, a blog, a podcast, a YouTube channel, a sales page, an Amazon listing, a Shopify store, wherever the hell you want it. In this video, I'm going to reveal how much traffic I drove, how many leads, obviously 1,191 leads, but also how you can do the same thing and model what I'm doing. So let's dive right in. So the first question you might be asking yourself is why TikTok? Well, I just found this graphic right before I started this video. Top apps worldwide for May 2021 download. Just last month, as you can see, overall downloads, TikTok is number one. The App Store, I believe that's the Apple App Store, TikTok is number one. And then Google Play downloads, TikTok is number one. There is a reason for that. And this is the time to jump on this. And I go on, I go live a lot on TikToks and I'll talk to these people and I say, this is an opportunity like I've never seen before. And what's really neat is the Twitters, the Facebooks, and the Instagrams of the world, they've all been around for a decade plus, maybe Instagram, maybe eight, seven or eight years. Uh, but they've all been around for almost a decade or more. They have more users than TikTok, and they also have more content, which is forgotten about. Those three apps likely have billions and billions of pieces of content, meaning it's hard to get found. It's hard to get seen on those platforms. TikTok, however, compared to those three platforms is a baby compared to those platforms. So you can get seen, you can get found much easier. There's not nearly as many users as those other platforms, and there's not nearly as much content. Like I said, there's not a decade's worth of content on TikTok, not yet. But as you can see by this graph right here, it is getting more crowded and more crowded uh, day by day. So the longer you wait, the more users that get on it, the more content that gets published on it. So that's why I'm strongly suggesting get started today. Don't wait another day. Like I said, it is a great way. I've yet to find a business that cannot benefit from the power of TikTok. I mean, any local business I could make an argument for, any type of uh, solo entrepreneur I could make an argue for. Your people, your market, I promise, are on TikTok. I actually just did a case study. You can check it out up there a couple of weeks back about Greg. He built a zero to 130,000 followers. He's a career coach. He teaches people how to write better resumes. Uh, design better cover letters. He gives you tips and tricks and how to uh, do well in interviews. And he did $14,000 in sales in the month of March by selling um, resume templates and cover letter templates. And also he has a couple of done for you services and some coaching that he offers. So he's a career coach, kind of a different type of niche. And he's been absolutely dominating, killing it. So you can check out that video after this video is done. So uh, step number one, you're going to want to set up your profile for success. So this is actually my second TikTok channel. My original one was just Adam Dukes. I got shadow banned in September of last year, which means my content wasn't being shared out to people outside of my following. So I ended up starting this account at the beginning of October of last year. Um, so as you can see, um, I have a the description right here, how to ethically earn $100 a day online, 100% free training, and then a couple of red arrows pointing down to my URL, pissoffboss.com. I recommend getting a URL, something easy to remember, something easy to spell. I've done a lot of videos on this. I'm a big fan of it. Piss Off Boss is a domain I bought back in 2016. But anyways, you wanna structure your description. You only get 80 characters. So you have to be uh, quite short with what you wanna do. So I like to do with the how-to. Uh, the how-to, it's gonna catch their attention and somewhat like pre-qualify. I, I use that term very, very loosely. If they're interested in this, they click on the link and then my landing page is going to use this headline, uh, almost word for word, uh, very, very similar to this headline. Uh, so it's congruent from TikTok over to my landing page. It's very, very congruent, TikTok and landing page. That's very important. You want to do that on anything, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. You want to have 
what your profile set up and the landing page to be as congruent as possible. It can't be obviously word for word because you might be split testing different landing pages, different headlines, but you want to be as congruent as possible. Uh, once you get a thousand followers on TikTok, you are able to add this clickable link. So if you don't have a thousand followers, you will not be able to have a clickable link, but that's fine. You can get a thousand followers. It really doesn't take that long. And anyways, when you're building up a following, a lot of people overstress that they don't have the link if they're under the thousand followers. And that's the time to build your audience. That's the time, time to kind of find your audience, I should say. So don't really stress out about not having that link. Like I said, you should be able to do it within 30 days consistently posting. But again, you're putting out content, you're kind of putting out feelers. I'm going to talk about it here in a second. And your audience is finding you. So not having a link, that's not a bad thing. But don't rush it. Eventually, once you get the thousand followers, you'll be able to add your link. Uh, so the next one is start publishing content. Pretty simple. Talk about whatever you enjoy talking about. So an idea and a challenge that I give to people that have never published on TikTok, which is most people. I find most people who are on TikTok are consumers. They're not producers. I would say 80% of the accounts have never published a video. They're just there to consume content, which again, lies an opportunity for you to jump in and be a producer of that content that they will consume. So talk about whatever you enjoy talking about. Go 30 days and just talk about, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's how you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, how you lost weight, how you gained confidence, how you took a walk this morning. I don't care what it is. After 30 days, you're going to find some pieces of content are resonating more with others. Some people are going to start asking some questions. Maybe you can go deeper on a specific topic, maybe on how you did something, and then you can make content around that. So just publish whatever you want to talk about. Be yourself. That's another big thing is be yourself. And I've fallen into this trap too. Admittedly, over the last couple of months, I've noticed that I've been modeling what other creators are doing and I've kind of lost my voice or lost my sense. So don't get caught in that trap where you're just modeling everyone and not showing who you are. That's a big one. Like I said, I just kind of the last couple months I've noticed that I've been falling into that trap. So again, some content will resonate more with others. So you start publishing more content around that topic. Uh, capitalize off trending sounds and skits. If you've been on the app for longer than a day or two, you're going to notice some trending sounds and or trending skits. And what you can do is capitalize on those. You can use those sounds and put together a skit it can be educational there's a guy i follow he's a loan officer and he's got 670 660 670,000 followers he's absolutely crushing it selling loans mortgages and so he talks about mortgages which is a pretty dry topic but he plays off these trending sounds and trending skits and he educates his audience throughout the video. So his TikToks are not just educational, they're also entertaining. So he's taking a boring or somewhat boring topic, mortgages, getting a loan, interest rates, uh, credit scores, saving for a down payment, pretty boring topics, but he's making them entertaining because he's capitalizing off skits and sounds. So you can certainly do this, whatever market you're in, is capitalize off these sounds and make it entertaining and also educational. Uh, find a sustainable schedule and stick with it. If you can do three videos a week, that's great. If you can do one a day, that's great. If you can do one TikTok a, a week, that's great. Pick a schedule that's sustainable to you. Right now, I've been, for the last several months, I do two TikToks a, a day. Just this week, I'm experimenting with just one a day. I'm just going to do one a day and I also go live. But find something that's sustainable. There's no perfect schedule. It's whatever you can fit in. But making a TikTok really doesn't take that much time. Um, now, I'm not going to bullshit you. Some of these TikTokers say it takes a minute or two to create a video. Some videos, yes, they take a minute or two. But some, it's going to take a while. Coming up with the content idea, coming up with kind of the layout maybe editing it, finding a sound. I've spent 30 to 45 minutes on video. So know that it can take a little bit of time, but it also can take just a couple of minutes to post one too. So don't overthink it. Um, so here's some of my stats. So up top here, I was using ClickFunnels in the first part of May. Uh, I actually just switched to a new platform. I did a full tutorial video on it. I'm loving it. It's an all-in-one tool. You can build funnels, you can send emails, you can create courses, you can sell memberships and or subscriptions. And what I really like about it, it's so simple. I'm a big fan of simplicity. If you've watched this channel, you you know that and also they provide excellent customer service so check out that video there'll be a link to check out the system down below uh, but as you can see up top here from may 1st to may 31st i generated uh, 1014 leads on click funnels then i switched over to this new one and i was testing out a landing page here where i generated 20 leads and then I, gen I was testing out another landing page here. I had a couple of landing pages going where I generated 157 total leads. You can't see the 10, there's a 10 down here. It just got cut off um, by the screen. So as you can see, 1014 plus 20 plus 157 is 1,191 leads for free 
meaning I didn't spend any money on it. Obviously, I spent a considerable amount of time putting out the content, but there was a couple of days where I was generating 150, 140, 150 leads because uh, I had a couple of videos go somewhat viral, and that's the power of TikTok. So here are my May stats. So I gained 18,000 followers in the month of May. I've been on Twitter since 2009. I have just under 3,000 followers. On TikTok, I gained 18,000 last month alone. That's why I'm trying to hammer the point home. Get on TikTok today. Get started on it. There's so many benefits to it. Uh, landing page visits. Oh, speaking of one benefit, I forgot to put this into my slides. Um, my 18-year-old self is still in awe that this person actually follows me. You probably know her, especially if you're around my age and you grew up. Uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s, but Miss Jenny McCarthy from the show Singled Out on MTV follows me. She's married to Donnie Wahlberg, I guess, but she follows me. Why does she follow me on TikTok? I have no idea, but I'm about to slide in, up into her DMs and hit her up for her brother Mark's phone number and see if we can, Mark and I can do some business. But So back to it, landing page visits is 4,079 visits. Uh, leads, like I said, was 1,191. A conversion rate of 29.2%. Now, if you're an internet marketer, you might look at that 29% and go, that seems pretty low. On TikTok, you're gonna get a lot of untargeted people visiting your profile. Um, when I started with TikTok, I was converting around 8%, 8%, 9%, 10% was good. So TikTok, don't be alarmed with you have, if you have a low conversion rate. 29% uh, on TikTok is absolutely fantastic. I'm not tooting my own horn or anything, but it took a lot of testing to get up to 29%. So aim for, I'd say, 18 to 20%. Now it obviously depends on your market and all, there's a lot of factors to it, but TikTok's a little bit different. Like I said, you're gonna have a lot of looky loos They'll click on your profile, especially if you have a video that goes viral, and they're not gonna be interested. They'll click on the landing page, but they won't give the name and email. So don't be too alarmed if your conversion rates, like I said, is in the 15 to 18% range. Uh, just try to get up to maybe that 18 to 20% range. That should be the goal. And that's it. That is TikTok in a nutshell. I, like I said, I cannot stress it enough. Get on it now. The other platforms, like I said, have so much more content. They've been around for so much longer, so it's harder to get seen. TikTok, the algorithm is going to work in your favor. I refer to the Kevin Costner uh, Field of Dreams line. If you build it, they will come. Um, if you publish content, they will find you. That's my version of TikTok. You start publishing content around a specific topic or a couple of topics over time in a couple of weeks, maybe a month, your people are going to start finding you. Try that on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. You know that takes a lot of time to do. You're certainly not going to be able to do it in a month unless you're some bikini model on Instagram. You might be able to have success, but people like myself, you're not going to be able to capitalize on your bikini body. So jump on TikTok now, get started. The fear of judgment is the biggest one. Getting you over the fear of video is a really scary thing. A lot of people are, are so held back by that fear of judgment, whether it's their mom, whether it's their dad, it's their spouse, it's their kids, it's their uh, aunt, uncle, cousins, their neighbor their boss, their coworkers, or someone they went to high school with 20 years ago. That is what holds the far majority of people back. You have to get over that. Um, another thing that holds people back, the fear of judgment of some stranger on TikTok. You're going to get haters. I find that the platform, uh, I think they breed haters for whatever reason. There's a lot of naysayers on TikTok. You just ignore them. Just continue putting out content. And here's how, what, uh, how I look at it, publishing content online. I feel I'm being selfish by not sharing content online, by not making these YouTube videos by not publishing over on TikTok, by not going live on TikTok. There's days I don't feel like doing these videos. However, I look at it as I'm being selfish. There might be a dad in Jacksonville, Florida who needs my message today. He needs to see my TikTok today for whatever reason. And I'm being selfish by not putting it out there. That's how I look at it. It's a little mindset shift I made a couple of years ago and it's been really powerful. So maybe think of it that way, that you're being selfish. You have wisdom to share. You have knowledge to share, a story to share, and you're being selfish selfish by not sharing it with the world. So get started today with TikTok. If you like this video, click the subscribe link down below. Click that little bell notification because I release two videos each and every week for your varying pleasure. If you're a dad and you're looking to earn a little bit of money online, I just put together the Dadpreneur Freedom Blueprint. You can check it out at the URL down below, moredadtime.com. I just picked up that URL. Pretty damn happy about that one because it's, once again, easy to say and easy to spell. As always, thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it.